You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard a pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. <sighs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. He lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. Find something you like in the bazaar? Secret entrance. You call that a secret? Well, it was supposed to be. You're out of luck, though, buddy. I still don't know anything about anything. A Dodger sent me. Dodger? Uh, who is. Oh. He told me to say Sayonara. Does that help? Okay. Shit. You should have started there. Dodger's looking for the order you owe him. <laughs> I bet. See that? Busted leg. That's why I don't have Dodger's order. You need help? Nah. Wait. Don't go back to him. He finds out I botched the job. I'm done around here. And what should I tell him? Don't matter. He won't give a shit. He'll think I'm fucking him over. Hi. Can you go for me? Check out this storage area in an underground parking lot on St. Joseph Street. Cross the fence right in front of the massage parlor. Enter the building and head down the elevator shaft. Well, hey, slow down. First, what would I be looking for if I did this for you? GRE containers. According to the rumor that reached Dodger, there was a military installation here set up in the first days of the outbreak. And where there's military, there's usually a healthy stash of supplies. Uh, what kind of supplies? Don't know for sure, but usually good stuff from before the outbreak. It was only the finest for the military. Medicine, booze, Whatever. <laughs> oh, no wonder Dodger wants this delivery so badly. Yep. Here. 
Take these bangers and give it a try, will you? It'd be a big score for all of us, but I'm out of the running now. Literally. What happened to your leg? Got jumped by bandits as I approached the site. Barely managed to get away. If you don't do this, Dodger will kill me. So, this is a military base? Yeah. They sprang up all over the city at the start of the outbreak. The base has a military side and a civilian side. <laughs> military side is a good stuff. The civilian side probably has more infected than loot. Look for the military entrance and you can't go wrong. Once you're inside, be careful. Getting to the storage area won't be easy. The setup usually includes generators. Find them to fire up their UV lights. <laughs> that'll help against the biters that'll be camping out there. Why do you work for Dodger? You need to ask. <laughs> Same reason as you. We gotta do what we gotta do to survive. Dodger tips me off where I might find valuables and I go there. If I find some good stuff, I take a cut. A tiny one. A sliver. You know, vultures, guys like Dodger are. It's barely enough to live on, but... It's better than nothing, I guess. The worst is when Dodger gives me a bum lead. Then I get fuck all. That's happened more than once. No skin off Dodger's nose, though. He's got plenty of guys like me working for him. Okay, I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks. You're saving my ass by doing this, buddy. But I'd wait till night falls to go there. Both zones are probably filled to the brim with infected right now. Well, thanks for the tip. Can you stop staring like that? I know what I look like. need help? We'll be fine, thanks. What happened? We heard a rumor about this garage. We thought it'd be an easy score, but we were wrong. Dumbasses. Hey, hey, at least we got far enough down to start up the old military generator and juice up some UV lights. So what happened then? Further down, the underground parking is fucking swarming with infected. <sighs> Barely made it out of there alive. And then... Part of a wall collapsed on Jonas and our way to the surface. Well, you won't mind if I give it a try, do you? Knock yourself out. But it's probably not worth it. Unless you want to end up <laughs> like me. Or worse. Yeah, I gotta make good on a promise. Here, if you manage not to die, maybe you'll find use for these. We sure ain't going back. <sighs> not that way, at least. Well, thanks. Can you hear those noises downstairs? That wailing? Yeah, like peacocks singing the hallelujah chorus. Must be howlers. They don't attack on their own, but bring other infected running. You think it's all clear?
I think this is the military storage area Hubert told me about. Let's look around. Filters. Never gonna have enough of these. I'm sure Dodger can use them.
Looks like I struck gold. A bottle of Risen Glory Cognac. And some cigars. Hmm, Cuban, the box says. Looks like I got everything of value. Time to head out of here. Did you find the stash? Sure did. Thanks for the lockpicks. But what are you still doing here? Is this him? Sure is. It was kind enough to get the goods for us. Saved us a lot of trouble. Very good. So, where did you find out about this? A little bird? Was it to you? Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg? How would you know? Because I broke it. Why'd you attack him? Huber was planning to take the goods for himself. Tell Dodger he didn't find anything. Needed our help to pull it off. But we didn't know why we needed half-assed Hubi. And now we don't need you. So, give them to us. Three against one? I like those odds. I counted. Five corpses. Kill him and take the goods. How's the leg? Uh, no better. But it'll heal. Eventually. Oh, fantastic. Something wrong? I had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before. They said that you'd plan on cheating Dodger after all. Okay. The cat's out of the bag. But look, it was only gonna be just this once. Dodger would never find out. 
Why would you steal from a man who's giving you work? Look, I'm living by the skin of my teeth here. I thought just this once I'd pretend he gave me a bum lead and take the whole stash. Maybe get a little ahead for once. And the bandits? I figured an ambush would sell the story better. Didn't expect them to turn on me. But then, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Seems like it. Trusting a group of thugs like them? That's what you get for being greedy. I wasn't being greedy. Just, just desperate. Now I got a busted leg and don't know when I can work again. What happened to them anyway? Now they tried to kill me, but didn't. Whew. Uh, and, and the goods? Did you reach them? I got everything. I'm begging you, don't tell Dodger. If you do, you'll ruin me. Please, d take what you have to him. Tell him I'll be back in business as soon as my leg heals. Why'd you even get mixed up with low lives like that? Seemed reasonable enough at first. Uh, you're interested in helping for a small cut. Then they show up with this psycho Klaus. Damn it. I'm such an idiot. I, I, I brought this all on myself. Don't tell Dodger, please. I'll think it over. Come on, man. Without work, I'll starve. I, I won't even think about doing it again. I, I swear. Don't make me laugh. You think I'd take your word for anything after this? Uh, believe me, I, I learned my lesson. I'll never do anything like that again. We'll see. you got for me? I found these filters for one. Mm, okay, not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Urban? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Uh, Hubert broke his leg, so I went and got the goods for him. He could use a doctor, or at least someone to look in on him while he's on the mend. Oh yes, he'll definitely need a doctor. What are you talking about? You know what they say, trust in God? But break your camel's legs, just in case. Couldn't hug. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone, and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one. For balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. You fucking out of your mind? No need to get all broken up about it. Duralex said Lex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Mio? Yeah. How can you be so sure? Any idea how many people Half-Ast has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? 
Your rules? He won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. I saw the potential in you from the start. But I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. Next time, find yourself another Patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Aiden. <laughs>